friends, and welcome to Real Work. Uh, this is a show that we're working on uh, to help those of you that are looking at new career opportunities. Uh, sometimes we've got different ideas in our mind about what work is actually like. And on this show, we're going to be talking to people that are passionate about their work and find out what the work is really like, not whatever misconceptions we might have. Um, so if you're overwhelmed by you know the sea of career choices, maybe you're just getting out of your uh, education or you're considering to make making a move uh, everyone's asking you know what are you going to do with your life uh, hopefully this show will will help you uh, today we're going to have a conversation and the interview format is going to be a lightning round uh, in our lightning round basically we've got 15 questions in three minutes so uh, the person on the other end of the questions is under some pressure but we're going to learn as much as we can uh, about a certain type of work in that time and today I've got the pleasure of uh, talking with my good friend Lisa, who is a, a photographer. Hi. Hey, Lisa. Hi. Greetings. Uh, so Lisa's been uh, been involved in photography, I think, for about three and a half years now. Uh, her work is is beautiful. Um, at the end of the video, we'll be sharing some links so that you can check it out. Um, she's involved in photography for um, weddings, uh, a lot of fashion photography, um, uh, landscape photography. Uh, all, all kinds of stuff, portrait photography. And, uh, and uh, like I say, her work is wonderful. So she's gonna give us a real perspective of, of what the work's actually like. Uh, Lisa, are you, are you ready? How are you feeling? Very ready. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Okay, so uh, we're gonna start the clock. So 15 questions in uh, as close as possible to five minutes. <laughs> all right, <laughs> awesome, let's go. Uh, so first of all, what drew you into wanting to become a, a photographer? I've always had a creative side and I think photography had that great mix of the creative outlet as well as interacting with people and constantly changing and staying on my feet. So I found it was a good mix for that. Awesome. Something that causes stress in your work. Uh, Double-edged sword to that fashion also because it is ever-changing and with social media and the constant need to be different you definitely have to challenge yourself to stay on top and be aware of the trends and also set yourself apart from the competition what's your why i think having this outlet for creative expression is really gratifying but more than anything it's the feedback from the client because on top of offering an image, which is the product, I'm also offering the service, the experience of working with me. So when a client is really happy, they walk away satisfied, and they give me great feedback about the images, that gives me great satisfaction. Awesome. So without getting into numbers, uh, what kind of potential would someone have for, for earning some income in this kind of work, like l low, medium, high? It, it honestly is what you make of it. If somebody wants to have this as a side hustle, definitely that works to supplement income. But, you know, if they want to put everything into it, they could become a mogul. They could, uh, you know, make money off of teaching on YouTube tutorials, clients, and yeah, it, it's whatever you want to make it out to be. Very cool. In a typical day, what three activities would you be found doing as a photographer? <laughs> Photo editing after a shoot. That, that's, that takes a lot of time. A lot of Friday nights are spent in front of the computer. Uh, preparing for shoots. And also just contacting clients, contacting agencies, and answering questions, narrowing down the details. Awesome. Uh, what kind of person would be great at this type of work? Someone who definitely is creative and who enjoys multitasking and enjoys the excitement of not having to do the same thing always. Right. So these days, everyone's got a good quality uh, camera. How do you make your work stand out? Yeah, so that, that is very challenging and it's not clear very quickly. It definitely takes time. It, you will get the feel for what is your brand as you work and as you get client feedback. So that's what happened with me. At first, I wasn't really sure of doing, you know, landscape a little bit, fashion photography a little bit. But as I work more and more, I developed a sense of what my brand was about. So timing and lots and lots and lots of practice. Awesome. Uh, what kind of person would not do very well at this kind of this kind of work? Oh, I don't want to gatekeep. I don't want to say someone can't do this type of work, but definitely if there's somebody out there who wants a job that has very, very clear and rigid structure, and then they will know, you know, be in control of all the input so they can control yeah. the input. 
that type of thing, uh, then yeah, they would probably find photography a little bit challenging because things are always changing on the go. <laughs> gotcha. How stressful is it to have to answer questions this quickly? <laughs> Not too bad because <laughs> Dealing with uh, photo shoots, sometimes up to four or five people, and think people are running around. Clothing is being thrown around. And You're used to it. It's okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Not so, easy. <laughs> so at the end of a day, so you've been working all day as a photographer. Uh, what's a sign that you've had a good day? Uh, if I'm really tired but happy tired, that's a sign of a good day. Because right. I know I've left it all out there, but. I walked away with tons of good photos that I look forward to processing and there's a sense of right. excitement in spite of the exhaustion. That's the sign of a good day. Awesome. What's one misconception people have about the work of photography? That it's all just about snapping shots. Um, there's so much more that goes into it. I would say the preparation is the stuff that you don't see you know talking to clients preparing contracts scouting out locations picking out outfits finding a backup location in case of rain in case of wind right Canada in case of snow so it's right. so i'm interested in pursuing a, a career as a photographer i'm not doing it right now uh, what would be the first thing you'd suggest someone do if they want to get into it so look at the work that's out there. Just scroll through Instagram, Pinterest, whatever. See what draws you in. Is it landscape? Is it portrait? Is it black and white? You know, try to see what you like and what you don't like. And then the next step is to get a camera. It doesn't even have to be a fancy one. Go out there and shoot. Awesome. Lisa, good news. You survived. Woohoo! <laughs> That was awesome. So uh, thank you so much. Uh, I know that was that was like fast and furious, but that's the intent of these lightning rounds. Uh, I call this the format for those of us that have a low attention span. Um, we, we absolutely plan on having an additional video with a, a longer conversation with Lisa. Uh, I'm sure she's got a lot to share, but uh, thank you so much. Uh, you're also going to be able to see Lisa's uh, social media information on the video. Uh, so if you want to check out her work, like I said, it's, it's wonderful work. You might want to hire her. And obviously, uh, for those that are interested in this kind of career, uh, Lisa's got a, a, a real voice. Uh, hopefully, that's, that's been able to help you today in, uh, in making your decision. Thank you so much, Lisa. Thank you. My pleasure. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Okay.